Inside the ring, he's an unstoppable force. Outside it, he's an unpredictable party boy. This week, as a sure you should have been savouring his 25th tournament victory. Instead, he was fending off revelations he'd punched out his manager in a drunken rage. I caused a lot of trouble by drinking alcohol, and I am sorry. I will be careful in the future. But it then emerged that the victim of the 154 kilogram wrestler's rage wasn't his manager, but rather the manager of a club as a sure you had been partying in. The man was allegedly abducted and had to be rescued by police from the grand champion's car. He was left with a broken nose, a swollen lip and a bruised head. There were many police cars. I didn't know it was Asa Shoyu at first, but then someone told me it was a very big sumo wrestler. This isn't the first time the bad boy of sumo has violated the sport's strict code of conduct. Asa shoyu has been suspended for skipping a tournament, been censured for getting into a brawl with a rival in a communal bath and has been warned for terrorising his training partners. This is the Japanese national sport. Asa Shoyu has no dignity and must go. Even some sumo officials believe the time has finally come to toss the grand champion out. The sumo association has been too lenient with him. He's no grand champion in my eyes. He may be the third most successful wrestler in the history of this ancient sport, but bad behaviour may be about to floor the fearsome ass assure you. Mark Willisey, ABC News, Tokyo.